here in India, a fantastic visit. I, I just want to say something about the latest situation in Ukraine, because I know that everybody is deeply concerned about the, uh, the barbarism that we've seen and the new focus of that barbarism by Vladimir Putin in the Donbass region, particularly his brutal offensive against Mariupol, uh, which is why yesterday I announced we'd be sending more artillery and doing everything possible to help the people of Ukraine defend themselves uh, in those areas. And at the same time, the extraordinary fortitude and the success of President Zelensky and the Ukrainian people in resisting Russian forces in Kyiv means that I can announce today that we will very shortly, uh, next week, uh, reopen our embassy in Ukraine's capital city. I want to pay tribute to those British diplomats who remained elsewhere in the region throughout this period. The United Kingdom and our allies will not watch passively as Putin carries on this onslaught. And what I think we've seen uh, here in New Delhi is one of the world's oldest democracies and uh, the world's largest democracy sticking together and confronting our shared anxieties about autocracies and autocratic coercion around the world and acting together to make our country safer and more prosperous. Our new and expanded defense and security partnership will enable India to strengthen its own domestic defense industry as well as protecting vital shared interests in the Indo-Pacific. Our collaboration on energy security, including our new offer on offshore wind, the new UK-India hydrogen science and innovation hub, and our joint work on solar power uh, will help to reduce our collective dependence on imported hydrocarbons in favor of cheaper and more sustainable homegrown uh, renewables.